Yud is good, Yud. It's your boys. I'm back here with another video. And in this video today, guys, we're going to be talking about a better picture of season seven than the dev vlog, which was just absolutely horrible in NBA 2K23, my team. Now, what do I mean by a better picture? Well, the dev vlog really didn't say much at all. And so here we actually got a better picture of what it's going to look like. So the dev blog mentioned, you know, a new all-time collection. Here you've got nine players that'll kind of showcase what it is. Now, here's my thing with the all-time collection, okay? I think it's going to be very similar to kind of the NBA play. It's different, very similar to the kind of the way they NBA playoff players were implemented in two packs. I think a lot of it is the all-time set is just going to be kind of pack fillers in a way. Obviously, you know, it's fine because we need new cards. We need, you know, more MJs, guys like that. Again, for me, though, I just, I, I feel like they're just going to be a little bit of fillers. Now, we also do see a couple of the new 99 overall rewards. We see Invincible Dominic Wilkins. I'm guessing collector level. I hope not. For me, I'm hoping Dominic Wilkins is a mode reward that's not RNG that you can just get by grinding the game. That would be a massive step in the right direction. But then we also see it looks like a uh, a season seven Rick Smith. Now, if you don't know about Rick Smith, he's seven four, and he would be a great card to have in any mode, whether it's triple threat. I just don't want him to be RNG. I'm guessing he's going to be RNG, but I don't want him to be. I want him to be like triple threat online, or I guess you know maybe that would be RNG probably unless they have like a certain agenda for him, um, or even you know, like even like unlimited. I would be fine with. Now, ultimately. What is the picture perfect thing here? Well, picture perfect is that Rick Smith is our first two week reward. Now, they said two week mini seasons were coming back. Do I expect it? No, but imagine this. Imagine you could get Rick Smith for free by just basically playing the game a little bit for the first two weeks. That would be ideal. I think that would get a lot of people back playing the game mode of my team and ju just a big deal uh, for my team in general. So ideally, Dominic Wilkins is just a mode reward. I doubt it because they mentioned an invincible and collector level. So that's my guess. Hoping he is, um, you know, just a mode reward. But the Rick Smith is really interesting because even if Rick Smith isn't, let's say, like a two week thing, let's say he is just a mode reward. That's a big step in the right direction. I just don't want Rick Smith to be RNG because people need Rick Smith. We need a guy that can combat Yao, combat Manu, combat all those guys. And Rick Smith can somewhat do that. So that's why I'm honestly hoping a little bit that, that he's just, you know, uh, the two week grind because everybody needs him. And that would be a great, great, great way to start the season. Now, let's talk about the new all-time collection a little bit. You guys can see MJ, Bron, Kareem, Shaq, Magic, Kobe. Like, they're all-time collections. So, like, you know, the best of the best is what you are going to be seeing in, in, in there. And I, I like that, right? It said 450, I do believe, new player cards all from, like, that all-time collection. I do think they're all going to be really solid cards as well. That should be fire. Because even for, like, a Galaxy Opal Magic... Let's say, again, he should be pretty cheap. That's going to be a decent point guard. Kobe, you should be able to get Kobe, a decent Kobe for cheap. Even Shaq, right? Obviously, Will, Dirk, Tim Duncan. Like, that's my goal. And that's my hope is that, you know, this collection makes it cheaper to get, you know, these big time, all time names in my team. Like, that that would be ideal. Obviously, I do think they are mainly pack fillers from 2K's point of view. Because let's say, you know, we get a new... Let's say we get a, a, a new pack drop and it's like lightning, okay? And let's say in the lightning drop this this upcoming week, you know, we see, I'm just going to throw out a name, Invincible Dr. J, okay? Instead of pulling in, you know, the Dark Matter Invincible Dr. J, you might pull like the, the, the Dark Matter Kareem, right? Dark Matter Ron, Dark Matter MJ, Dark Matter, you know, whoever else it might be. They're just going to be pack fillers at the end of the day, but... I mean, th those cards are still at least going to be good. Like, all of those Dark Matters, at least, would be really, really solid to pull. So, I mean, it's not like they're bad Dark Matters. At the end of the day, they just are fillers. But this gives you a, be a little better picture of what Season 7 in my team is probably going to look like. Because, obviously, the 190-whatever word blog isn't, isn't going to get the job done, right? That's not going to give us enough information to base a season on. What everybody assumed is, yikes, this dev blog is horrible, so that the mode, the, 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 the season seven is actually going to be horrible. But when you look at it, we get a free Josh Giddy to start off the mode. 
that's going to be, if, he, if they make him right, that could be a great start for the average player. Because you got to realize the average player isn't even going to have like a Kevin Porter Jr. type of car. So a Josh Giddy for free at 6'8 could be a really solid start. You grind level 44, Invincible Zion. Now again, he'll be undersized. But still, it's Invincible Zion Williamson. You can't ask for much more as a level 40. Obviously, last season seven, last year we saw Invincible Anthony Edwards. Zion's a better option than Anthony Edwards, okay? It's just that simple. It is that easy. I, I don't hate this. If, if 2K would have said, actually, you know what? No dev bug. This is what they're dropping instead. I don't think I even would have hated it. The, the, the whole thing for me is just... Why, why not put this in the dev blog? Why not talk about, you know, Invincible Dominic Wilkins is going to be your collector level reward. Look out for Rick Smiths in My Team Unlimited. Stuff like that. People tell me we got Rick Smiths in Unlimited. I know what I'm doing right away. Because I need a Yao Stopper. I need a Taco Stopper. I need somebody better than Hakeem Olajuwon, who isn't even that bad. It's just he can't guard the giants of the world. To, to play my backup center minute. So that's the type of thing for me that would have got me maybe a little bit more excited heading into season seven. And I just think that this, this whole picture just is going to help out a little bit. I, I, I'm not saying that it's going to be the best season yet. We still need free agenda content. We still need stuff like that. The two-week seasons need to come back. I just don't know if I'm that optimistic about it, right? They didn't even mention it in the blog. And I feel like if two-week seasons would be back, they would have mentioned it. But again, they didn't really mention much at all in the book. Like, at all. So, I don't really know what to think about this whole new season, season 7 in my team. I'm not necessarily uh, stoked about it, but I'm not necessarily, like, going into the season without any excitement. I, I don't know. It's, it's, it's a weird one. It really is, because I don't necessarily think that it's, again, going to be the best yet. But you're talking about a free Dark Matter Rick Smith that I hope is not RNG. You've got my attention, because he's 7-4 in a game in which height runs the game. Invincible Dominic Wilkins, probably going to be collector level. But let's say he's just one of the RNG rewards. You've got my attention. Like, those type of things would get the community's attention. And let's even say, I'm just, I'm going to throw some out there. Let's say Rick Smiths is your first two-week reward. We get another two-week reward. We get another two-week reward. And you get all three of those two-week rewards. And you get a Dark Matter Dominic Wilkins to finish it off. Now, I know Dark, Dark Matter Dominic Wilkins isn't that appealing right now. But let's say they give him, uh, you know, KPJ base, Oscar upper on very quick. Now, you're to now, now, now you've got my attention. Now we're talking just by playing the game and getting rewarded. So that's kind of the way I think and hope my team goes with this. Obviously, that's best case scenario, right? We get three new rewards. You get all three of them. You play every week or every basically, every, you play every two week thing out and you get Dark Matter Dominic to end it out. <laughs> Obviously, those are lofty expectations that aren't going to ultimately get met. I'm just saying, can you imagine? Can you imagine how great of a game mode that would be and how fun that would be? As well as having Dark Matter uh, rewards in every single mode could be something special. So I don't know. I, I, I want to know your guys' expectations down below in the comments because I don't really know how I feel about this. Like after I read the devlog, I was like, this is horrible. We have absolutely nothing to stand on, like <laughs> nothing to be excited about. Now, this graphic, do, am I, like, super stoked after it? No, because who knows where Rick Smiths is going to be. Who uh, Dominic Wilkins is probably just going to be collector level. And honestly, both Rick Smiths and Dominic Wilkins could be collector level. And we could see, like, Tony Parker as our triple threat offline 250 reward. And, and, and I just, you know, I'm just saying, get ready for the worst. My whole thing with this season and after season six you can't really set your expectations high. I feel like if you set your expectations low, then, then you have nothing to get disappointed with. And then, you know, come Friday, if we see an absolutely incredible season, then you're like, all right, this is something special. My expectations right now aren't super high, but that's just what I've, I've got to be trained to do. After getting let down month and month again, I can't keep having these lofty expectations that just never get met. You're going to be really disappointed if that's kind of what you do in, in the mind frame in which you do go about things. I, I don't know. I don't hate this, but I hate the dev blog. So I'm kind of split uh, on that. I'm hoping for a big season because my team needs it more than ever. That's going to wrap it up for our video, guys. Drop a like on it. Subscribe if you are new. And as always, man, I love you guys. And have a blessed day.